What's up everyone? It's Oliver coming back at you with another video. And again, because I've kind of run out of ideas, we're just going to do another self-care thing. It's going to be a little bit more basic and not quite as in-depth as the other one. I don't even know what we're going to talk about. We're just going to hang out and have a good time because... I kind of forgot that I'm going to the cottage this weekend and I need to have another video set up to be posted on Tuesday because I'm not going to be home to post one myself. So here we go. Welcome to this. Is that a face mask? Detoxifying face mask. So this is a French clay mask that purifies and cleanses your skin. Thoroughly, thoroughly, I'm already fucking everything up. Thoroughly cleanse your face with warm water. Apply evenly to face and neck, avoiding eyes and lips. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. Rinse with water and then pat dry. Okay, cool. Here we go. Gotta get the hot water set up and I'm not gonna try to talk because I know that was loud and annoying and I'm just gonna cut all of this out until I have the warm water on my face. So that I don't annoy you guys. So you're welcome. <laughs> it's so hot. I know it's just warm, but it's hot to me and I hate it. Because I'm a baby. Okay. Cleansing my face. Blech, with warm water. Done so. We're going to get behind the ears too because that's important to do. I feel like especially with ear piercing, because you need to remember to clean behind your ears. And then we open this up. The inside looks gross. I'm sorry, you can't see me when I stand like that. It looks like poop. Well, time to put poop looking clay on my face. Oh boy. I also never know how to get this. Oh God. I never know how to get this stuff out of the freaking bags. So if anyone has a tip for that, let me know because I'm just gonna continue using my fingers until I can figure it out. And this looks absolutely awful. It looks absolutely disgusting, I'm sure. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep complaining about this until I feel better. <laughs> um, yeah, so as I was kind of saying, I'm gonna be away over the weekend because we're going to my grandparents' cottage, which is up north, and we don't really have Wi-Fi up there at all. Um, so Wi-Fi is bad, service is pretty bad as well, so I could like barely receive text messages. Um, and I basically go like MIA on social media while I'm there because I just, I can't get anything to load. Nothing loads, nothing comes in, I don't receive like a lot of my push notifications and stuff, I just all of it goes away. It decides not to exist while I'm at my grandparents' college. So, you know what? I just stop trying. I give up, basically. So, I don't even bother trying to post or send much while I'm at the cottage anymore because I just, I know it's not gonna happen. It's just, it's not, it's not gonna happen for me. So that's why I disappear and that's also why I can't put anything up on YouTube while I'm there because I literally am unable to. So I'm going to film and edit this and it's going to be short so I apologize. 
but then I'm going to set it up to post while I'm away. So assuming that my dad leaves the internet and stuff going, this will be posted. I don't like how much this looks like I'm rubbing shit all over my face. But the things we do for beauty standards is quite interesting. Oh, well, that's in my eyebrow now. I'm also going to slightly avoid my ear piercing because I just, I don't feel like cleaning that out of my ear piercing. My ear piercing, my eyebrow piercing, what am I saying? I don't feel like cleaning this poop colored stuff out of my eyebrow piercing hole. So I'm just not gonna put it anywhere near. So it's going like up to about there. And then it's not going anywhere else near. And then you just kind of put the excess wherever. Cause in my opinion, you only need a light coating of this stuff. You don't need to like cake your face in it. Also, the fact that it tells you to do this like once a week at least, or like some of them tell you to do it like every day, I'm not about that. See, self-care happens like maybe a couple times a month, maybe, usually not even. So doing a face mask like once a week or once every day sounds so tedious to me. But you know, if, if this is something that you enjoy doing and something that you feel you can do, go for it. Do the things. Do what makes you feel happy and feels like you've cared about yourself enough for a day or a week. Like, like mine usually are. I do this like once, a, once every couple months. And I'm like, yep, yeah, I've cared I've cared about myself enough for this month. I am running out of face space to put all of this. You know, that's good enough. That's more than good enough. Cool. Get rid of that. Take it on my cheeks. Great. Hey guys, welcome. Okay, I'm sorry that I continuously put my water on so hot, but my finger was like brown and it concerned me. Anyways, that's that done. And um, I need to cut my nails again, so that's just a thing I'm gonna do while I wait for my face to dry, I guess, is what this is gonna be. Doing. You know, when you put a face mask on, you have to wait for your face to dry. And where did I do this again? Hey guys. I think I got some on my lip. I did. I'm gonna use this. There we go. I need space so I can talk to you guys. If I can't talk to you guys, then this whole thing is pointless. And why did I do it? Also, I'm really concerned that I'm gonna have to wash my face like with face, fish, fish, the 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 face, fish, the 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 some kind of like face wash afterwards to make sure that my face doesn't, you know, turn brown. Cause it like. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if like there's any really like left, but my, it kind of stained my finger the tiniest bit. And I'm just gonna be slightly concerned if like this section of my face has like a tinge of brown and then like my neck is white. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. It'll be interesting. 
Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, I was talking about the cottage. We're going out to my grandparents' cottage this weekend. It was my dad's birthday on the 22nd. So, happy birthday, dad. I said it multiple times, but happy birthday, dad. Um, we are going to celebrate with family up at the cottage for a couple days. And then the last couple of days that we're there, we are closing up the cottage for the season. So, nobody stays up there in the winter. Nobody goes up there in the winter at all. Um, it's completely closed, locked, shut, like barricaded, basically closed. So nobody, well, it's supposed to be nobody can get in. Obviously there are going to be ways to get in because it's not like foolproof than freaking security systems or anything like that. It's, it's a cottage out in the middle of nowhere. Essentially, it's not quite like that, but it's basically that. Um, but yeah, we are closing it for the season. So that's going to be it for the cottage for this year. And then we get to go back up. Like, I don't even know when we're going to open it again. But we'll go back up sometime next year and open her up. We usually go start-ish of spring, I guess, so that we can have uh, the cottage open for like spring and summer and a little bit of fall, like the very start of fall. But yeah, I mean, it's not overly exciting. It's literally just boarding up the cottage. Um, turning off the water and power and stuff like that. Anyone who owns a cottage or like a getaway, vacation, home, whatever, will understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say, basically. Other than that, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not really doing too much. Um, I have a couple of appointments set up for soon. None that I really need to document. Um, I have to go and get some blood work done when we get back from the cottage. Um, because uh, the hospital and place that I go for, like my gender therapy stuff, I guess, um, hormone therapy, um, I get my shots done with my family doctor, but I got my prescriptions from the local children's hospital. So, I am going to the children's hospital so that they can check on my hormone levels and stuff and see if I can stop taking the hormone blockers that I'm currently on and just do shots of testosterone. So I have to get my blood work done before I go for that appointment. And then I'll find out if I need hormone blockers anymore or not. So that's pretty cool. Um, then I just continuously, well, for, for what I know, I just have my once a month testosterone shots. Um, unless uh, when I'm getting my blood work checked over and stuff for the hormone blockers unless they um, prescribe me the like once every other week or weekly um, doses of testosterone that I can administer myself. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but if there is like a huge change to my treatment, I will be sure to update on that. Um, and let people know kind of like what's going on because that's a, that's a pretty important part of my transition for right now. And um, as far as any kinds of surgery go, I am not going to be contacted about that for another like year. So there's literally nothing happening for that. I have confirmation that I'm going to be going to uh, the Women's College in Toronto. Um, I, I don't have specific names, I just know it's a Women's College in Toronto. 
um, and I have confirmation that that is where I will be going for my surgery, but the date has not been given to me. I go in about a year. Well, it, it'll be under a year now, but I go in a little under a year for a consultation. Obviously for them to check everything out, make sure that I am okay to do a surgery, um, as well as to go over the options for what kind of surgery I will be getting, whether it be a double incision or keyhole, and what would be best for me and my body type. Um, and then about six months after the consultation, I was told I would probably be given, well, I won't be given the date six months later. I would be given a surgery date approximately six months from the day of the consultation. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my transition type stuff. Like there's nothing going on for me in the next little while that's really extremely worthwhile or like important, so. I don't know if this is drying on my face. About my video from, um, I guess last Thursday though. Thank you for like supporting me and my gaming nerdiness because like, I was slightly concerned to post something like that because of just how like, oh my God, like games I got about it. So like for people to be so cool about it, thanks. I really appreciate that and the fact that people were like so chill about it. Um, also some people were like, oh my god, you have good taste in games and like, thank you, you also have good taste in games because, I don't know, those are just like good games. So, <laughs> gaming. Small update, it is drying on my face. Um, I filed my nails like a tiny bit to make sure they weren't sharp. <sighs> um, I also fixed up my eyebrows so that I didn't have gunk in my eyebrows. I think I'm just gonna cave and wash it off because I caked on so much of it for some of this that like there's no way it's gonna dry unless I leave it for like an hour. I don't feel like doing that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wipe this off. Really? <laughs> huh. Cold bacon. This is gonna be gross by the end of it, but. It looks so bad. Disgusting. I don't even know where's clean. I feel like just no matter what, I'm gonna be rubbing more of it into my face. Okay, don't rip your piercing up though. Okay, I'm so sorry. My washcloth was just so dirty. It's coming out really gross looking, but at least I feel like I'm not wiping it back onto my face. looks like I just like ran and fell face first into a whole bunch of dirt. I think the only thing I can liken this to that I've seen firsthand and know for sure is that it looks like the time that I had to dig a friend's boot out of mud at the barn and my arms were caked like up to my elbows in basically horse shit and mud. 
that's what that's what my face just looked like but hey it's clean now purified and detoxified and whatever else I did to it so that's cool that's pretty much all I have for you guys and I'm sorry that it like wasn't overly interesting or like I didn't really do much this was a last minute thing because I totally forgot that I wouldn't be home to film anything thanks guys for checking in watching enjoying seeing some of my self-care things I enjoy showing you as much as I seem like super awkward about it and it's really because I'm rushing to try to get this done on time so thanks guys love you all um and as I like to say at the end of all of my videos Ollie Ollie Oxenfree.